So Skyrim modding is almost 12 years old. There have been two basically newer versions of Skyrim, Special Edition and Anniversary Edition. A lot of the old mods that were mainstays back in Oldrum days got updated, but over the years a lot of mods just didn't get the love and care they've needed. In most cases, there are newer mods to replace them that work better and do more. The bad thing is, you can go online and find a guide that is six years old telling you to install the old mods. Or, somebody wrote a guide that includes mods they've been using for eight years, but there are newer, better mods. I'm here to tell you what mods you should delete, and what to replace them with. I'll be going from big to small in terms of scope. Do not use Nexus Mod Manager. It is ancient. Use Vortex or MO2. They both don't make permanent changes to your data folder, so you can freely install or uninstall mods. I'm not going to debate which is better. They both get the job done and are currently supported. Also, don't install mods manually. That's even worse. Don't use Boss, use Loot. For load order sorting, you may have heard of Boss. It was originally made for Oblivion and ported for Skyrim, but is no longer supported. Even their website says to use Loot instead. Also, it's included in Vortex, but also also learn to use XEdit for deconfliction and use Loot as a guide. Fness and Nemesis do the same job, adding new behavior files so new animations can be added into Skyrim, so your characters can do things the developers never conceived of or wanted. Uh, I can explain. This one's not controversial. If you're using Modern Skyrim Special or Anniversary Edition, use Nemesis. There are a couple things Nemesis can't do that Finesse does, but a whole three years or so worth of things Nemesis can do that Finesse just can't. And Finesse is currently unsupported. And there's a way to use Finesse to generate a config file and disable Finesse for those couple things. I might cover that in a future video. Also, there's a mod in development that will replace Nemesis called Pandora by Monitor144HZ. Apparently, it does what both Nemesis and Finesse do, and updates are about 10 times faster. DAR vs. OR. Okay, so DAR versus OAR is not actually a topic I think I can broach at the moment. Who wins, I mean. They allow replacement of any of Skyrim's animation files, and you can set up conditions to where you have several different animations for the same action based on conditions. The modder for DAR was MIA for a bit, and Urshan, who created true directional movement and precision, created OR. He reverse engineered and rewrote the code and made it more efficient and gave it a few more capabilities. Then Feliski came back and did an update for DAR. To be honest, OR is probably better, but DAR still does the job, and both are in active development. So pick your poison. What can I say? Faster HDTSMP is just what it says. It's better. It allows for more and better hair and clothes physics. Anything that says you need HDT SMP also works with faster HDT SMP. Uh, these things. Versus Nether's follower framework. All of these are no longer being actively updated. Some haven't been touched in six years. AFT also automatically adds all followers to the framework, which breaks stuff like Inigo, Lucius, and Kaiden. Multiple follower framework, which is what I use, is supposedly compatible with NFF, so you can use it freely. Skysa use MCO. Both use DAR and OR and Nemesis to completely overhaul combat. MCO is the successor to Skysa, created by the same creators. It has been described as Super Skysa. Use it instead. Skyrim platform, don't use it. It was a programming language that could be used in Skyrim, meant to replace or work alongside Papyrus, Skyrim's native language, and C++, the industry standard language. Sadly, it is buggy, and currently destroying save games. The mod page even specifically says this in the pinned post. All geared up derivative, use immersive equipment displays. All good and IED display your inactive equipment items on your person. So instead of pulling your sword out of your ass, it sits on your hip, even when you're using your bow. All good uses patchers and is kind of a nightmare to install. IED is newer and uses a SKSE DLL mod. Clear winner. Similarly, dual sheath redux slash ecotone dual sheath use simple dual sheath. DSR eco change the nifs of your left hand. All gut from above also accomplishes this the same way, but SDE just uses an SKSE plugin. Once again, winner, joy of perspective removes your head in first person and replaces the first person meshes with your third person body. But you need to patch literally every mesh in the game to work with it. It modifies every animation in the game. 
Improved Camera is just a DLL file. Use it instead. It accomplishes same thing 10 times better. TK hit stop and recoil. Use precision. Honestly, this isn't mainly going to be me plugging precision. Because not only does it do what these other mods do, it's the only mod of its kind. It transforms all attacks in Skyrim to become accurate ones instead of the frontal clones vanilla Skyrim uses. Project Proteus. Use Proteus. It's just a newer version. PP still works. I use it. But Proteus is better. Way faster. Parthenax Dilemma. Use Parthenax Quest Expansion. The Parthenax Dilemma is an old Arthmore jam. Unvoiced, has a bug or two. PQXP is a very new mod from J Serpa. Gives several options and is voiced. Parthenax Dilemma was great for its time, but PQXP is the new new, and that goes for anything by J Serpa. This man is a small quest mod visionary. Anything that uses cloaks, avoid if possible. Use spid based mods instead. Spell perk item distributor, which I also have a guide for, applies effects to NPCs on game load. The old way of applying various effects was through cloaks. Basically, you know flame cloak and it's like spells in the game? These mods apply an invisible, huge version of this that hits NPCs around you. It contributes largely to script lag, especially over time. It can cause script-related crashes if you get way too many. Alternatively, spid-based mods are safer, though they do make startup of the game a little slower. J Serpa's hunting mod, Hunterborn. Last thing I'm going to say is J Serpa just put out a new hunting mod and it looks like it could supplant Hunterborn, which still works, but it's a little bit old. I still use it. I haven't had the chance to try J Serpa's new hunting mod yet, but he usually puts out pure gold and I'm pretty hopeful about it. And that is it. I want to say all the usual stuff here. You know, watch my other content. My other guides are paying dividends. If you want a very long story, then watch my Skyrim Let's Plays. They're all connected, happening in the same world. But otherwise, mod the game to what you want it to be. Happy modding.